Ah! I am the head of Alexis Folkers. And I am the entirety of Jackson Weeble House. Welcome to the Spooky Warrior Way News. This is episode four of season seven. And now to Jay Nylers with Pink Out. The FCCLA team had a fundraiser Thursday night, October 7th, at the Crafton Lady Warriors Volleyball Game for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. They helped raise an estimated $500 for a charity of their choice. They chose Camp Koholo, which is a Nebraska-based foundation that allows children with cancer or blood disorders to meet others with similar conditions and enjoy camp experiences. To raise money, they sold volleyball pink out shirts and raffled off items donated by local businesses. They ended up selling 136 pink out shirts and raffle ticket items donated by Larry Tramp, Heather Heggie, Janelle Taney, People's Grocery, The Crofton Journal, CW Manufacturing, t &R Butcher Block, and The Weber Family. Thank you for treating us to that pink out article. I had a joke I thought was pretty sharp, but it fell flat. And on that note, let's hear from Carly with the marching band article. The Crofton Warrior Marching Band finished their marching season at the Quad State Marching Competition in Vermilion, South Dakota on Saturday, October 16th. The Crofton Band competed among nine other marching bands for field marching competition. The Marching Warriors took home the first place trophy for their division and a superior rating. Senior Brooklyn Fiscus said, I'm very proud of how far everyone came and how much we accomplished. I'm so glad that I got to be a part of this team for four years. Four Crofton Chorus members have been selected for the 2021 Nebraska All-State Chorus as of Monday, October 18th. Out of the nine Crofton students who auditioned for the prestigious choir, four students, sophomore Elizabeth Wartman and senior Carly Schieffer, both Alto 1, senior Roy Knapp, tenor 2, and freshman Jack Schieffer, bass 1, have been selected. This is Jack Schieffer's first year being selected. Roy Knapp and Elizabeth Wartman's second year and Carly Schieffer's third year. Senior Roy Knapp commented, I'm very excited to go to Allstate this year since we couldn't go last year. Everyone who auditioned did so well and I'm happy with the results. Allstate chorus will take place November 17th through 19th in Lincoln. Thank you, Alexis. The Waterway News is showcasing Crofton High School's funniest videos. Email me all your funny videos at the address below. And now on to a football report with Kendall. Last Friday night, the Crofton Warriors started out strong against the Norfolk Catholic Knights with senior Jimmy Allen four-yard touchdown run in the first quarter. Ultimately, the Warriors fell short with the night taking over for a 41-13 victory. After the first quarter, the night offense pushed back with a 46-yard touchdown. Then the night defense picked it up, not letting the Warriors score again until the third quarter. When the third quarter hit, the Warriors tried to gain the lead again with a five-yard touchdown run by Allen. But after that, the Warriors didn't score again. The Warriors focused on offense with 17 first down in the game. The Knights had 16, but the Knights had 295 yards offensive yards. The Warriors had a total of 214 total yards. The Warriors next game will be away against the Bancroft Rosetley Lion Decatur Northeast Rovereens Friday, October 22nd at 7 o'clock. The Crafton Girls Cross Country Team took home the Class D2 District Championship title on Thursday, October 14th. Four of the five girls varsity runners placed in the top ten. Sophomore Jordan Arns placed first, freshman Riley Arns placed fourth, senior Kira Altwine placed eighth, sophomore Elizabeth Wartman placed tenth, and senior Ashley Trant placed 27th. Altwine stated, It was my favorite course and I am proud of our team for working together and placing first. Jordan Arns will be competing for back-to-back -back state championships. Her outlook for the race is competitive. She stated, I am going to take the race one step at a time and compete all the way to the finish line. For the boys' team, senior Austin Gunther placed 11th, sophomores Zach Arns and Carter Gunther placed 24th and 46th, respectively. Senior Roy Knapp placed 58th, and freshman Grant Schieffer placed 64th. Austin Gunther commented, Districts was a tough race, a lot faster than most of us probably thought it would be. There were a lot of good teams competing, but I feel like we still competed well. 
Even though the guys didn't make it as a team, we all ran well and set personal records of our own. The girls team and Austin Gunther will be competing at the state meet in Kearney on October 22nd. Jared, what is your favorite Halloween candy? I'm going to have to go with the Snickers. Who is the ghost of the Argo Hotel? King Boo. What is the scary green man? The Hulk. What is your favorite Halloween movie? Um, I'm going to have to go with Monster House. What is a crop labyrinth? Some corn maze-like thing. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. All right, Mason, what is your favorite Halloween candy? Kit Kat. Who is the ghost of the Argo Hotel? No one. Who is the green man? I have no idea. What is your favorite Halloween movie? Frozen. <laughs> what is a crop labyrinth? I have no idea. <laughs> All right, Jack, what is your favorite Halloween candy? Kit Kats. Uh, who is the ghost of the Argo Hotel? Michael Jackson. What is the green man? I have no idea. What is your favorite Halloween movie? Die Hard. <laughs> what is a crop labyrinth? You tell me. I don't know. <laughs> Halloween is right around the corner. Are you looking for a good scare? The local area is full of spooky thrills and cozy pumpkin patches for all family and friends. Yankton, South Dakota has one haunted house located downtown called Zombies Realm. Sophomore Casey Archer visited Zo Zombies Realm and stated, Everyone around me was screaming. There is also a pumpkin patch called Mazing Acres located outside of Yankton. Mazing Acres features many kid-friendly activities. You may be running in the rolling racers, banging on the music wall, winding through the corn maze, or zooming through the trike track. Sioux City, Iowa has two haunted houses located in the same area. Scare Central consists of both Nightmare on 4th Street and Fear Factory. Sioux Falls, South Dakota has three haunted houses located throughout the town. Terror 29 Haunted House, Twisted Nightmare, and JC's Fear Grounds. Norfolk, Nebraska has a pumpkin patch called Poppy's Pumpkin Patch. At Poppy's, you can enjoy the petting zoo, ride the zip line, jump on the jumping pillow, and even dive into the corn pit. There are plenty of thrills to keep you entertained for hours. Whether you are looking for a family-friendly action-packed day or a night full of scares, there are many places in the area that will keep you entertained. On Friday, October 22nd, there is no school for fall break. State Cross Country can feast the Coney Country Club. Varsity football plays at BRLD at 7 p.m. Saturday, October 23rd, there is ACT testing. October 25th and the 26th, the Lady Warriors will compete in sub-district play. Wednesday, October 27th through the 31st, the FFA chapter members will travel to Indianapolis, Indiana for the National FFA Convention. I'm Jackson Lubahouse. And I'm Casey Archie. This has been the Warrior Way News. And, and have happy a happy Halloween. Halloween. Do not play with fire. Do not play with candles. Be careful the stove might be hot. Be careful with fireworks. Do not play with matches. If your clothes going on fire, stop dropping wool. Check the batteries in your smoke alarm. If you see a fire, get out and stay out. They roll to the ground. If you see a fire, fire don't be scared. No two ways out of your house. Have a family meeting, but If you see a fire, call 911. Practice your fire safety drill. Pull over if there's a fire truck behind you.